Hello, this is TT. And this is Quim. And we are here with a little bit more amnesia and a fun little game bar. That's nice. <laughs> and we're just going to jump right on in. So, here's what's happened. We talked to Kent, and Kent's sad because now he thinks that because he told us the truth about his relationship with us, that we no longer love him. And that's a lie because, if anything, I love him more. <laughs> Like, honestly, he took a risk to tell us what was going on and what the truth was, knowing full well that as soon as we heard it, we might remember everything and then we would not love him anymore. And that's a big risk, you know? I can honestly say that if I was in lust with a person, I don't know that I would necessarily go that route. Not right away. <laughs> so that's where we're at. We are now on day 19. We have basically 11 days left. Till the end of the month. Hmm. So we got a lot of ground to cover. So let's get through these next two days. Orion. Can you hear... Oh, sorry. Can you see me? Can you hear my voice? Hello? Ah, finally you looked. I was sleeping, you jerk. It was a surprise. You haven't responded to me at all since yesterday. So I thought you couldn't see me anymore. Wouldn't that be nice? <laughs> anyway, it looks like we're still connected. You talked to Kent a lot yesterday. I remembered a bunch of things. It looks like we're making progress and separating. Yay! Well, I'm happy that things are going the way we want. But... Doesn't your relationship with Kent seem really strange? I'd feel really irresponsible if I was just like, Mission complete and left you like this. Of course, I want to be separated, but I also want to see you off into a good future. That's just how I feel. You're like the worst matchmaker of all time. Is it just me or is Horns weirder? Maybe, oh, it's just me. Yeah, it's just me. Yeah, By the way, your relationship? I guess we can just say that Kent's love towards you was one-sided? I'm glad he didn't have any intentions of dragging you off to the hospital, but maybe he's also thinking that he doesn't want you to remember. Well, that's what he said. Yeah. You still feel kind of dizzy, don't you? Maybe it's the shock of remembering all those memories at once. You have work today. Will you be all right? Try not to push yourself too hard. Anyway, let's head over now, winky face. Why are you so weird, Orion? Hey, so the rumor about you cheating on Kent with Yukio is gaining more ground. What? That's not right at all. Have you been having your trysts with him in the great outdoors? What kind of cat face is that? <laughs> ha ha. I doubt being threatened on the street at night could be considered a tryst. Uh, I'm so jealous. Why are you so popular with guys? I'm cute, that's why. Is it still popular if it's only one guy? <laughs> that reminds me, I wonder if Kent will come by today to pick you up. What should you do if you see him? Go with him? Yeah, he's our boyfriend. We love him. He's a stud. He better not ditch us. Ah, All day worrying about it, now it's already evening. I wasn't worried. I have confidence in our boyfriend. Aha! Told you so! Hey. Let's go home. Yours or mine. Yeah. I guess we're going to mine. But that's fine. I feel dizzy. I guess technically that's us. You should read that. Oh, I feel dizzy. Wham! Quick stud, take me home. Nani? Nani, nani? Nani, nani, nani? That's right. I always walked alongside Kent like this, but those times, I didn't really like those times. Isn't it not going to let us decide anything? Nani? 
How long are you gonna act like that? <laughs> Kitty! What happened? Can we go to the hospital now? I know, right? No. I don't want to remember. Dang straight, you don't want to. <laughs> Kitty! Are you okay? <laughs> Kitty! <laughs> pull yourself together! <laughs> don't die! Kitty, are you awake? Did my kiss of life save you? Uh, I'm fine. I see. Well, I had gone to get water, and during that time you lost consciousness, so I panicked. I lost my composure. I apologize. Did you pick me up, stud? Huh? Are you half asleep or something? Do you remember collapsing? You collapsed while you were walking home with Kent. It's probably his fault. You managed to make it home, but you lost consciousness. Kent was worried. That's why he's like this. Your fatigue must have been building up. You've had to stay on your toes all this time. It might be best to take tomorrow off from work and rest. How do you feel? You look really pale. I'm sorry. This is my fault. You don't have to remember things that you don't want to remember, although that may be just my desires talking. Is it so bad to keep things the way they are now? Do you absolutely need to remember? Even if your memories would destroy the relationship we have now? I'm sorry. I suppose you can't do that. I'm sure you want to regain your memories. It's only natural. It's just as Kent says. You can't just sit by and not remember anything, otherwise you'll be stuck with me forever. If you don't try to retrieve your memories, my consciousness will invade yours more and more. If you don't remember your past and separate from me, your life will turn into a total mess. I feel bad for Kent. You should feel bad for me! It's possible that you don't want to remember either, but... You can't not remember these things. We already know that. Yeah, no, we got that. <laughs> you, considering we're like, no, I don't want to. You've ruined our life, bug. <laughs> Whatever. Ah, oh, we made it to another day so fast. Is this one going to be a short one? I don't know. Mm -hmm. Nutty? <laughs> It looks like someone's here. I wonder if it's Kent. Uh, looks like? It sounds like, because that was a doorbell. <laughs> can you get up? Think you can walk to the door? Do you need help going to the bathroom? Jeez. Good morning. Mind if I come in? Oh, of course, I don't mind if you stay in bed. You don't have any family around, right? I came here to look after you. Oh, I like so him! Sweet. I like him! How are you feeling? Think you can eat sausage? <laughs> I brought nutritious and sweet foods that are easy to eat. A simple and effective way to replenish stamina. What a salty treat. I'll get you some water. Don't worry about me. Just lay down. I don't even know what you're talking about. Pretzels. <laughs> Whatever. Kento. Kent is really nice. He really is like a different person from when we first met him. I wonder if Kent changed. Or maybe he was always a nice guy if you never got mad at him. Yeah, no, that sounds not or right. Annoyed. Like but he was saying things like he's used to being disliked. In that case, Kent must have changed completely in the past three weeks. That conference is really important to him, but he's here taking care of you instead of preparing. And you're embarrassed by that? I'm not embarrassed by that. Oh, are you dizzy? Sorry, not enough time to be thinking deeply. Yeah, you're hurting my brain. Just sleep. I'll keep watch to make sure Kent doesn't try anything funny. You can't interact with the world! What are you going to do? Oh. Good night, kitty. If it's the next day already, it's gonna be very short. Kimi, kitty, what's wrong? Are you okay? Quick, breathe into this. Nani? Oh, sorry. You were just sleeping. That was a shock. 
I can't tell if he's taking care of you or making you more tired. He's trying. Please just don't die. She's not dying! Don't go anywhere. I will do anything for your sake. At first, this relationship was simply engaging my interest. I thought it would be fine if we broke up eventually. But I know now what it's like to be with you. I couldn't bear to lose you now. Do you wish to go to a hospital? Or should I call a doctor? Here! Is there anything I can do? Just let me know. I just want to tell him! I want to tell him why you're so exhausted and why you can't go to a hospital. I want to tell him that not having anything to jog your memory is the most dangerous thing. You agree, don't you? You can see just how much Ken's worried about you. <laughs> he said that you could ask him for anything. I wonder if that includes asking him to believe in the existence of spirits. Oh yeah, that's smart. I doubt it. <laughs> what is it? Is there something you need? Something you want to tell me? Something to show me? Will you believe me if I tell you something? What? Do you have a secret even more shocking than the fact that you don't have memories? Oh, you're going to tell him. That's right. You don't want to keep any secrets from someone who's this worried about you. Or that we want to stay with. Fifteen minutes later. Nani. Nani! Are you testing my determination? Oh, <laughs> I told you that I'd do anything. And if you asked me to believe you, you'd be a liar if I didn't. I understand, but say that you are possessed by a spirit. It's not hypothetical. No, I believe you. There's a spirit possessing you. This isn't an actual illness and you don't want to go to a hospital. That spirit will disappear if you regain your memories. On the other hand, if your memories remain sealed, that spirit will encroach further into your mind. It sums up the condition you're in. We'll talk with these points under the assumption that I understand. It seems a bit like he doesn't believe you. Yeah. Even if he is pretending to believe you, that's good enough. It may seem senseless at a glance, but this story is backed up by several factors. One of the reasons I had a difficult time believing you have amnesia is because you seemed overly calm. Normally, one would be in a confused panic without memory, since one couldn't possibly get by alone. While you couldn't trust anyone at first, I couldn't comprehend why you would hesitate to tell anyone for this long. Also, you had full memories of general social knowledge. Normally, one would go to a hospital or the police if they found themselves in your situation. However, you didn't take such an action that would be considered normal. You behaved in a way that would hide your memory loss. To be honest, I don't see why. However, if your absurd actions had an absurd reason, I can understand somewhat. And that reason is something like out of fa fairy tale. This spirit, as you call it, told you to do this. When he says it like that, it sounds more like I have an evil spirit possessing your body. There are other things that concerned me. After losing your memories, you would always focus your gaze somewhere else while you were thinking. Your gaze would shift from that place for a while. It was a strange habit. But I can understand why, if you happen to be looking at something, I couldn't see. Ah, get it. Whenever I start talking like this, you always look at me. Anyway, setting aside the question of whether the spirit is really a spirit or not, I can fully understand the explanation that you are able to perceive an absurd being similar to that. That was unexpected. And his reasoning was unexpected too. This is why we need to have his babies. Also, it seems like the spirit is becoming more distant the more your memories are stimulated. The cerebral cortex is the part of the brain that stores what we call memories. Did he just start a different topic? And if you're able to remember these memories via various stimuli, that means there's no damage to your cerebral cortex. And there are no issues with the memories you've made after the start of your amnesia. We can assume there's no damage to the frontal lobe, responsible for recalling memories, or the hippocampus, responsible for organizing memories. 
only issue present is that you can't recall matters from the past that you should know. For example, the cerebral cortex is a wardrobe, and the hippocampus is a table upon which you lay memories out after removing them from the wardrobe. The only thing the spirit is impeding is the opening of the older drawers in that wardrobe. If we think about your experiences until now, and the spirit becoming more distant as memories are regained, opening those old drawers causes the spirit clinging to them to be thrown off. It doesn't matter which old drawers are opened, however, it does seem that the newer drawers are included. So, spirit, is my explanation correct? Wait, is he asking me? I don't know. If you have an answer, spirit, write it down on a piece of paper. I'd like to communicate through writing. Communicate through writing? Me with Kent? Um, right, it's nice to meet you. It's nice to meet me? Listen, spirit, I'm requesting an answer in regards to the assumptions I have just explained. I don't know if that's correct or not. <laughs> it doesn't seem like a smart thing. Oh, I'll be quiet. However, this is a very human response. It seems there really is another being inside your head. In that case, I should try to interact with it more humanely. It's nice to meet you, spirit. I'm probably the first person to greet you. You really are. What a surprise. You're surprised. You seem to be a cheerful character. Anyway, Spirit, do you wish to leave her body as soon as possible? Of course I do, but I was too worried to leave before finding someone she can trust. I see. So I'm not someone that can be trusted. I think you can be trusted, but you're going to be leaving to study abroad soon. That's true. I see, so that's why it doesn't seem like you have very much enthusiasm for recovering her memories. Well, uh, I do want to recover them, but it hasn't been going well. But I definitely want her to recover everything one day and return to her normal life. I just wanted to avoid rushing and putting her in a bad situation. Sure, I'll be gone once we separate, but she still has to live out her life afterwards. I see. It seems your spirit is a very kind-hearted spirit. If you'd like to recover those memories more quickly, I can think of several ways I could help. I could talk of memories to provide her with the adequate stimulation, and I could also get in touch with Sawa, Toma, and the others to do so. Creating new drawers of memories would be another way to utilize their cooperation. It seems you haven't remembered many memories up until now. If that amount is enough to make the spirit start fading away, it shouldn't be too difficult to free the rest of those drawers. If you desire it, I'll promise to continue helping you after I return from abroad. Thank you, because I don't know why we would ask, is it okay? Because we won't like him anymore afterwards? But who says we won't? Yeah, it's true. Except the spirit, the bug. No, that's only natural. I'm sorry for being so upset yesterday. Even if you leave me as a result of regaining your memories, I promise I'll do what I can to make sure there are no difficulties in your life. So don't worry. You can rely on me. Kanto! Kanto! I think it's a good thing that you're her boyfriend, Kent. Yeah, I see. Arigato! <laughs> I need to do my best to live up to those words. Apparently. <laughs> Is that the end of the day? Uh-huh. That's the end of the day. Well... Knit. <laughs> well, we're gonna call it good there because that's the way we do. So this here is TT. This is Quim. And now we know that Kent believes in our spirit, and our spirit knows that Kent knows, and so the nose of the nose makes the nose nose. <laughs> so here we go. We will come back next time, and we will continue figuring out our memories, and then hopefully we can get rid of the bug and fall in love with Kent still and maybe have his babies. That's the idea. We're going to go, go, go that. So... Do make sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and we'll catch you later. Goodbye! <laughs>